Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker Envy tutorial, I'm going to help you expand upon your mining system. If you've adopted the Drifty's mining system and you would like to make it so that your skills are uh, not a guaranteed chance to level up after each use, you can do that by a simple custom execution on the skill. Um, we're also going to go over how to automatically optimize your equipment by using one of Yanfly's new pl plugins, the Button Common Events plugin. Um, so, I'll put a link in the description below to where you can get that plugin from Yanfly, and I'll put a link in the cards if you haven't set up your mining system yet. But if you've already done that and you want to see how to do these other cool features that you can do, let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to declare a new variable so that we can use a random roll and uh, use that to determine the percent chance that we're going to have to level up our skill. So we can make it so that it's a 50% chance to level up our mining skill when we use mining or 100% or 1% or any number in between. So let's go to a new event. We're going to go to control variables. We're going to click on these three buttons right here. We're going to find a new slot. We're going to call it mining random roll. Once you've done that, you can hit OK, OK, and we're going to delete that event because all we're doing is we're looking for that number location. So in that number location, it was 31 for me. Just check the number location because we're going to reference that value right here. So we're going to do a custom execution on the mining skill. We're in our database under the skills, our mining skill. We're going to create a temporary variable. We're going to say variable VAR space R space equals space dollar sign game capital V on variables dot value. In parentheses, we're going to put in that number for the mining role that we just created. Close the parentheses and do an end line. Now we're going to say that R equals, we're going to open up parentheses and we're going to say capital M on math dot random. And in parentheses, we're going to put that R variable. And then we're going to put a space times 100. What this is going to do is going to create a random number uh, between 0.0, .0 and 1.0. So we need to multiply that number by 100 if we want to make this a 100%. So then we're going to close that parentheses. We're going to do an end line. Now we're going to make a conditional statement saying if parentheses r is greater than or equal to whatever number you want right here. For my game, I want to have a 75% chance to get a skill up when you use the skill. So I'm putting 25. So if that number rolls anything between 1 and 25, it won't skill up. But if it rolls greater than or equal to these numbers, it's going to do what's in the contents right here. So if you wanted it to be a 50% chance, you'd put 50. If you want it to be a 25% chance to level up, you'd do 75. I want a 75% chance, so I'm going to say if the number is greater than or equal to 25, we're going to do this. So we're going to open up a brace, we're going to create a new uh, temporary variable. We're going to say VAR space M space equals space dollar sign game capital V on variables dot value. And this is our mining skill variable that we've already created in our previous uh, mining tutorial. Link will be in the cards. Um, so if you're not sure, you can always reference your variables and look, which for, uh, look for which variable that you referenced as your mining skill. Close your parentheses and do an end line. Then we're going to do plus plus m. That's going to add one to that temporary variable. Then we're going to do a semicolon for our end line. <clears throat> then we're going to do dollar sign game capital V on variables dot set capital V on value open parentheses put in our number for the variable for our mining skill put a comma and type in M the number we've just added one to then we're gonna close the parentheses and do another end line then we're gonna close the brace and that's it for our custom execution this is this simple custom execution is gonna happen every time you use the mining skill and this is going to determine the percent chance that you have to get a skill level up when you're using your mining skill. Let's move over to a new uh, auto optimization thing. So if you would like to use uh, Yanfly's uh, button common events plugin, I highly recommend you do. This is going to save you so much time because in order to optimize, in order to use the mining system, you have to switch your weapons from your whatever sword or dagger that you're using into a mining pick and then you, you mine with that pickaxe and then after you're done mining you'll have to go back to the scene, the, the menu and change your weapon back and it's easy to forget to do that so wouldn't it be really cool if you could just press one button on your keyboard you don't even have to go to any menus and it automatically equips all your weapons I think it would be and that's why I uh, put this in so big thanks to Ganfly uh, I'm gonna go ahead and embarrass myself and show you the code that I was using right here this don't type this this is completely wrong this will not work but uh, I contacted Yanfly and he very quickly gave me the correct code to make this work. So thank you so much Yanfly. Let's uh, share your code with the world. So if you would like to uh, 
have all of your weapons be re-equipped by just pressing one button on your keyboard, this is what you would do. Go to your common events, find an open slot, take note of the number, but we're going to put in uh, the button that we wanted to press. So it doesn't have to be the equal button, it could be whatever button you want. For me, I'm using the equal button, but you can have it do this, you can have it re-equipped, uh, optimize your weapons and armors with any button you want. So for this case, I'm going to show you how to do it for the equal sign, but keep in mind you can change that. So we're going to call this one, whatever button you want, button optimizer. So then we're going to insert a script call. So we're going to go to, to tab three at the bottom, insert script call. It's going to open up a box. In that box, what we're going to do is we're going to type VAR space length space equals space dollar sign game capital P on variables dot all capital M on members open and close parentheses dot length. And we're going to do an end line with a semicolon. Now we're going to create a loop. So we're going to say for variable i, we're going to open parentheses, variable i equals zero. We're going to end line inside this. We're going to say i is less than length. We're going to do another end line. And we're going to do plus plus i, which is going to add one to it. So then we're going to close the parentheses and open up a brace. Then we're going to type in a, a var space actor. We're creating another temporary variable. Equals dollar sign game capital P on party dot all capital M on members open and close parentheses and then we're going to use brackets and we're going to put in I which is our temporary variable inside that bracket. We're going to do an end line and move on. We're going to create an if statement now saying if we're going to put parentheses actor which is our uh, second temporary variable. We're going to put a space and say actor dot optimize capital E on equipments open and close parentheses and an end line and then we're going to close the function brace. We're going to hit OK and apply that. So we're going to take note of the number of our common event that we're using. For this one it's 15. So once you've got your plugin installed we're going to go down to where the plugin's at which should be under base troop events. So we've got button common events here. Select whatever key you want it to be. If you want it to be the 1, 2, whichever you want. I've selected equal sign but you can have it any button you want at all these options you have now. So once you find the, the button you want to be your auto optimizer button, just double click on that parameter and type in the number of that common event that we just created. In my case it's 15. Hit OK, hit OK, make sure the plugin's on and in the right location. OK, save your game and that's all there is to it. Let's test it in game. So. Let's check our equipment out first. We can see that we've got our pickaxe equipped right here. Our weapon pickaxes, they're on. For most of them anyway. Now all I'm gonna do is hit the equal button. You didn't see anything happen, but I pressed the equal button. And now we've got our weapons re-equipped again. Let's add on to that. Let's add another little feature to that. Just so the player knows that it actually did something and it worked, we're going to do a quick show text. So on top of this, we're going to add a new show text. And all it's going to say is, Equipments have been optimized. And we could even color code that if we want to. Let's put a quick little color code in here. Let's do that one more time. So the player knows that it's actually doing something. Let's go to our equipments. We see that we have our pickaxes, of course. Let's press the equal sign. Equipments have been optimized. We can check our equipment. And now we've got our weapons equipped. So whenever we are, we're done mining, we don't have to go through the scene two times to do our mining. So these are small little updates, but hopefully you like this video. I'll continue to work on these systems that I create to further improve on them and update you guys with things that have changed. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, favorite, share, subscribe. I really appreciate that thumbs up. It helps the videos and helps the channel. You guys are great. We will see you in the next tutorial.